Hello, it's uh, Roxana Moran coming to you live from Sky 2018 in San Diego, California, and I'm here with a, uh, a wonderful Dr. Canessa, Roberto Canessa, welcome to, to Sky 2018. You are our keynote speaker, uh, and the title of your speech is I Had to Survive how a plane crash in the Andes inspired my calling to save lives. And that just is incredible. It puts chills on my skin. Tell me a little bit about what that was like, what it was about. Give us the story. Well, when I do echocardiograms and I do fetal echocardiography, one day I was looking at a baby in the womb of the mother, and this kid was meeting half of the heart, and I saw them through the screen, and I, I thought that this baby was very tough for him f for surviving. And then I remember the, the screen of the plane in the fuselage when I was looking to the moon, and I was wondering if my mother was looking for me. So this way, this two-way screen mm. uh, reflected me that in my, in, my, in my plane crash in the Andes, I needed help, and now I can give the help to these newborn babies, which are the most indefensive creatures in the world. Like when we were there stranded in the mountains and the search had been called off. So tell us a little bit about that, that incredible experience. Well, you're going in life and you think that you have problems, but you don't realize that you have obstacles until you're in a plane crash, in the middle of the snow, in the middle of nothing, and you're thinking that they're going to call the search for you, and then you hear on the little radio that the search has been called off because plane crashes in the Andes don't have survivors. They have previously 33 plane crashes and no survivors. So then we realized that we had to get out of ourselves, but it was impossible because the snow was very tough and it was snowing very hard and we ran out of food and we had to take the bodies of our dead friends, which was the most humiliating experience I never had in my life. But that wasn't enough. We had to get out of there. I always believe these stories seen in a different way from the outside people. They think that we save ourselves because we add the dead bodies. And we save ourselves because we were able to climb the mountains and walk for 10 days for rescue. So there's a two way of seeing this story and this is what fascinates people because they go there thinking of, of a story that is different. They think they are going to see a hero. And we're not heroes at all. I mean, we're very miserable people just striving to survive. And, and this is very typical of, of, the, of the little boys when they are in the icy uni and they are bleeding and their mother is crying there. And so, so I know that there is a way out. I learned it in the mountains. And this is what I want to transmit to people. How many of you were there on this, on this? And how many survived? How many died? Uh, and what year was this? It was 1972. Mm -hmm. It was uh, 45 people. Mm -hmm. And after the plane crash, 29 alive uh, survived. And then I also learned that when we thought that we were in the worst uh, situation in life, I learned not to say that anymore because that night an avalanche came and buried us alive. So you can always get worse. Wow. Only when you're dead, you cannot get worse. Mm, what an incredible story. And you told us how this really, really put you into the next level of wanting to become an, a, a pediatric uh, cardiologist. What, what do you have to tell to our audience, our people, uh, maybe the world, about how this experience, what it's taught you in life and what you believe in, how we should be handling our obstacles? Well, to enjoy life, not to wait for your plane to crash to realize how mad you had. Mm. To be more thankful, I think we get more in life than what we need and we do less than what we can. You have a, a bed to sleep, you have food to eat, you have water to drink, you have a place to shelter, then you have everything there. Until you don't lose all those things, you don't realize what is to be really poor. poor. And then also I learned not to wait for the helicopters to come. We had to go walking to tell them where my friends were to, to reach them. So I think there are a couple wow. of lessons learned from the mountain. I just can't imagine what this was all about. I think our audience uh, will learn more. I know that your talk will be uh, uh, live streamed as well as uh, uh, archived. But wow, you're an incredible, incredible person. And I, and I do believe that your 
uh, passion for life is what made you survive, you and your colleagues who were on that plane crash, but much more importantly, your view and just how you are. Just as a person meeting you, I'm honored. It's been a wonderful, wonderful honor to meet you, and thank you for being here for us here at Sky 2018. It's incredible for me to be here. It's like Star Wars, seeing all the procedures you can do to a kid. That nowadays you can put a valve yeah. into a patient of Fallo that they are struggling there with the right ventricles. So I'm fascinated to be here and very thankful to, to the committee for inviting me. Thank you again. Roxana Moran, live from Sky 2018.